You might be wondering from my exotic accent where I'm from. I was born and raised in Zimbabwe. It's in Southern Africa. Um, so six years ago, had you told my mom that I'd be standing on the stage in Virginia, USA, she would have said it's impossible. But then, since then, I've taken many small steps in pursuit of some very large dreams. So um, in 2008, there was a famine in, and food shortages of historic proportions in Zimbabwe. And I was 15 years old at that time, and I was attending boarding school. Um, I saw bread disappearing from the table, and then it was replaced with porridge. And then the porridge was replaced with two spoons of mealy rice. And then that's all that we had for weeks, for months. Living through, the, living through that famine really inspired me to aspire to a profession where I could alleviate suffering on a microscopic scale. And so I applied. So in high school, of course, I tried to work as hard as I could because that's all my parents um, encouraged me to do. And so I worked hard in high school, graduating among the top of my class. And I thought that was it because my family, there was no way they could afford to take me to the University of Zimbabwe. And so over that year, we had a huge avocado tree um, in the backyard. And so I was an avocado vendor for the avocado season. And I was also responsible for fetching water for the family and purifying it to help my mom. I also helped my mom take, by taking care of my three younger siblings. And, um, so that's what I did after high school, really. And while um, I was at home, my home had no water, and it only had sporadic electricity. But then I never forgot of my dream, that dream of aspiring to alleviate suffering on a microscopic scale. So I decided to apply to universities in the United States, which sounded really improbable, because there was no way I could go to the University of Zimbabwe, so how could I attend a university in the United States? I told my mom about the idea. While she was happy, she was not really enthusiastic about it because she didn't know anything about the country and she knew if anything unfortunate were to happen, um, there was no way she could help me. I'd be on my own. And so I would be in a country half, uh, halfway around the world alone. But I applied nonetheless and I told her whatever the outcome, I'd be ready for it. And so um, while I came to the United States to study. My first job was in the kitchen cafeteria, and it was emotionally challenging, throwing away perfectly good and eaten food. But I did that every day as a freshman, as that was my job anyway. There were also some more um, seemingly monumental challenges. For example, I was in a class that required me to be um, to use computers, and I had never really used a computer. And so I was pitted with students who have been using computers since they were eight or even younger, and that was extremely challenging. It felt like I'm taking a 400-level class as a freshman. But I did it anyway because I'd come to the United States to study. And so I studied hard and um, graduated at the top of my class at Carty College in Nevada, Missouri. And then, um, so ever since I came to the United States, I've tried to offer solutions to the problems that I see around me. There are so many problems around all of us, but then at times there's a gap between knowledge and action. I believe we all need to start where we are, to see where we can go, and to make our own dent in those problems. And if we all collectively make our dent, maybe those problems will become non-existent. So since I've arrived to the United States, never mind that I've only started using a computer a few years ago, um, I've worked at the United States Department of Agriculture trying to use um, broadcast technology to broadcast um, information about food waste. And also, a few weeks ago, I attended a conference where I worked on Connect Ed, which is a platform that helps at-risk inner city youth become connected to a mentor in their communities. I've also worked on Plenty um, a summer ago, which helps people who otherwise could not afford retirement to be a or who otherwise could not afford retirement financial advisors so that they'll be able to retire comfortably. I was part of the mapping team of Plenty. It's available on the app and Play Store. I'm currently also working on Shiri, which is a digital platform that 
allows peer-to-peer -peer communication between African farmers. And so the hope is to eradicate famine and food deserts in many African countries by linking them to markets and also preventing post-harvest spoilage. Um, at the Clinton Global Initiative this semester, I was part of a team which had a prompt to create digital prototypes that help with um, global warming. And so my idea was, uh, my team's idea was to eradicate food waste, hopefully at the household level. And so we created an app, Wiser, which not only helps um, eradicate food waste in the homes, thereby decreasing the amount of greenhouse gases produced by food waste, but also helps um, minimize the amount of energy that goes into the production and the refrigeration of that food. And so a micro, a micro solution to a macro problem, my team won the 2017 Clinton Global Initiative Conference. So what do all these steps, all these opportunities have to do with aspiring, with me aspiring to alleviate poverty on a macroscopic scale? Macroscopic literally means something happening on a large scale. Hunger is happening on a large scale. Famine is happening on a large scale. Food waste is happening on a large scale. And people are entering retirement unprepared on a large scale. So I really just try to put my own small dent. I'm a tiny person, but we all can, collectively come together and put our own dents into the problems we see around in our communities. At times, it doesn't even seem like these opportunities are taking us in the right step, but take that step anyway, because you never know where that would lead you. If I can do it, I believe you can do it. So I, too, wish you the best as you set out in the world in pursuit of your goals. Thank you.